So welcome back. In the previous tutorials, we have set up a DAO strategy, picking the top four out of 30 DAO tickers. Um, in the last one, we just set up the head strategy um, out of convertibles, um, the 20 years treasuries and gold. And what we're going to do now is we're going to combine these two to create a meta strategy. Um, and we're looking for a moderate performance increase over the Dow Jones. Um, with the main goal of reducing the volatility and the drawdown. So let's have a quick look at our two strategies we have created. First here, the Dow um, strategy. You can see the statistics. And we also have our Dow hedge with these statistics. And now what we want to do is create a meta strategy for that. Again, we go into the Portfolio Manager, create a new strategy, and call this now DAO Hatched Meta Strategy of DAO and Hatch. And we're going to select the two strategies. These strategies are marked with this sign here. So we just have to look for our two, which is the DAO strategy we added and the DAO hedge. And as always, you also select our benchmark tickers. We're going to use um, SPY. And we're going to use the DAO. Then we add our default settings, especially have a look at the components where we only want to allocate to the DAO strategy and the DAO head strategy. So we mark, unmark, spy and the DAA. Benchmark symbols, we pick the DIA and the spy. And the other parameters we just uh, leave as they are um, and we want to optimize and tune them later. So for the time being, just save. So now that we have set up um, our base strategy, let's have a look at the result in the backtest window and let's do some reasoning again. Um, this is meant to be a meta strategy between a risk component, which is the DAO stocks, the top four we picked, and then our hedge strategy. Um, so definitely we want to avoid something like we are seeing here that we are 100% allocated in the risk component or 100% allocated in the hedge component, um, but rather we want um, to be have a certain minimum allocations and maximum allocations, and this is what we're going to set in the first step. Um, by my own discretion now, I want to have maximum 80% in either of these components and minimum I want to be always in 20% of each of them and now I apply that and you can see how this works. And then in the second step, the strategy algorithm here, DR doesn't make too much of a sense because we only have uh, two components. So we check the SR and select the top two and apply. Now this looks like this. Um, and again, let's have a look at the statistics. Um, you can see the return is um, slightly above our DAO. <clears throat> the volatility is nicely reduced now at 11%. And also the drawdown is drastically reduced from the 48 we had before. So this seems to go into the right direction, but we can still optimize it. And also here, I just stick to the um, standard parameters and let this run. And I'm back in a minute. So Quantra had just finished and we analyze now our heat map. And as expected, you can see again, we are in this um, range here of around 60 days. Um, and the volatility attenuator uh, seems to be best um, around zero, which means we're only going to select by performance and ignore the volatility. 
which is fine because we did that um, already in our two components. Um, so now we just um, use the one which is higher performing and I think we can just stick to that. Close it and now we are at a look back of 66 days and a volatility attenuator of zero. Um, if you look at the allocations, um, this is now depending on your own reading, either good or bad. Um, this is very much a risk on, risk off mode. Um, so the strategy is hopping back and forth um, and very clearly sometimes goes in risk off mode, like for example in 2008-9, um, but also in the uh, recent years, sometimes it just went 80% into a hedge and then waited until the Dow component um, started to perform. Again, not my pay personal flavor. i rather have something smooth, but this might be very suitable for somebody who is careful and conservative and says, whenever the market smells bad, i rather be in a nice hedge than in risky assets. So again, to sum it up, um, we have now created our DAO um, strategy first without any hedge. Then we have created a separate um, hedge strategy. And now we combined both of them into what we called a DAO hedged meta strategy. And we're looking at the performance figures. And you can see the return is um, roughly twice um, the um, Dow Jones. It is also... Um, better than any of our two components. The volatility is 13%, which is drastically lower than the DAO, and it is also lower than our um, DAO strategy, which means the hedge is helping here. And the drawdown um, also is nicely reduced from 48% to 13 It's mm, drastically below the 34% um, we had without the hedge, um, and it's also below the drawdown we have in our um, head strategy. With that, I'm going to conclude here uh, the tutorial. I'm very much looking forward to your comments. Please um, post comments both in the YouTube videos, um, in the comment section, and also in the post uh, we're going to publish on our site. And then looking at um, the most um, concerns uh, you have or questions, um, I'm going to post, post a follow-up tutorial um, to answer the the most asked, uh, most frequently asked uh, questions. Thanks for watching, and um, see you in the next one.